Hello, David Kubian, Bearwoods Photography. I hold in my hand the box to the Tamron 28 to 200 millimeter lens. Um, just hot off the presses, just announced recently, got mine today, um, which is perfect timing because I have a big trip coming up where I'm doing a lot of travel style photography uh, in Wyoming for a ranch. And this is going to be absolutely perfect. But let's let's touch on a few things with this lens and then I'm going to go out and do some shooting. All of it will be in this video. So I'm really excited. Um, first of all, it is a DI3, which means it's made for mirrorless cameras. In this case, the Sony full frame, the FE mount. And it's got the RXD drive, which is rapid extra silent stepping drive, which is phenomenal. And the fluorine coating, which those lens, uh, the coatings mean it's easier to clean. Stuff doesn't get on there. Uh, anything gets off of it really, really easy. So it's super fast, super sharp quiet and easy to take care of. It's also got the weatherproof construction like all the others, front and rear lens caps, lens hood, all that good stuff. But let's give you some of the specific uh, technical information on the lens right now. I've got my cheat sheets right here and then we're going to get out and we're going to shoot it. So first, model number A071, 28 to 200. Uh, at the wide end, it is f2.8. It is the first all-in-one zoom with an f2.8 anywhere in there. So f2.8 to 5.6. So at 200, it's 5.6. 28, it's it's 2.8, uh, and you know varies in between those. So the optical construction of the lens itself is going to be 18 elements in 14 groups. You know, phenomenal. Um, the minimum object distance at its widest point is going to be 7.5 inches, going to give you a reproduction rate of 1 to 3.1 on the wide end. On the telephoto end, it's going to be 31.5 inches, and it's going to give you a 1 to 3.8 reproduction ratio. So that's really pretty good because you think, you know, even if you take it to just over that, be 4 by 6 is going to be what fills up your frame, and that's really good. Um, what I love, one thing I'll tell you, 67 millimeter filter size. That means that all of my filters that I'm using now, I don't have to have any additional adapters or anything else. I don't need to worry about any changes. It's all going to fit the same size. The length, 4.6 inches. It's almost the same length as the 28 to 75. Now keep that in mind. A 28 to 200, that's the same length as a 28 to 75. So phenomenal. Weight, 20.3 ounces. Again, that is that is just phenomenal. That's, that is great. And again, I've talked about it before, but what I love about Tamron's approach to the mirrorless lens manufacturing has been uh, they're making them compact, they're making them light, so that way you're taking advantage of mirrorless systems. You're not carrying around big, heavy lenses that are just simply adapted on the mount to fit mirrorless camera systems. They're completely manufacturing these to be perfect with the mirrorless camera systems. So, great. Uh, the maximum aperture, or minimum aperture, excuse me, F16 to F32. So, again, that's great. I'm going to do some landscape stuff with it. I'm going to do some macro work with it. I'm going to do some rivers. But next week, I'll be working on a ranch, photographing, and I'll be using everything in between. I might do some time lapse with it, some other stuff, just, just to get an idea of how it's doing, some videos, everything. Again, it's a Sony FE mount, or the E mount, but it's the full frame. So, great stuff. Uh, the release date is June 25th, 2020. So today it is available. Um, I'm looking so forward to getting this out and doing some shooting with it. I will get this video out um, and let you see the images that I'm shooting with it. Of course, you'll see these right after this. Um, again, I'm excited. I'm just super excited. This is, Tamron is just killing it with their, their new lenses for all the mirrorless system uh, for the Sony right now. The others I'm sure are gonna follow, but just uh, super excited and again, light, compact, 28 to 200, um, first f2.8 all-in-one zoom that there is. Phenomenal. So let's go ahead and do some shooting.
enjoyed this little video just trying to focus on some of the features of the new Tamron 28200. Um, it, just a very, very versatile lens. Uh, it's a DI3, which means it's for mirrorless, and in this case, the full frame Sony is, is the mount. Um, and it's got the RXD drive, which means extremely fast, extremely quiet. Uh, it's the only f2.8 all-in-one zoom in the world. It's the first one, so that's a great feature for me. But for me, the versatility of the lens is the key for me really loving it. Um, I did some a macro image that I've got here in the video. Uh, I've got a time lapse that I did to show you the consistency through the exposures. Uh, that was like 400 frames. Um, I did some 28s, 35s, 50s, 70s, 100, 135, uh, 200s, everything worked its way through the range. On the river this morning, then at Gibbs Garden later in the day. Um, I feel like I'm leaving something out. Oh, video, video. Well, I'm doing this video right now with the lens attached to an A7 III. So you'll see that it, it can do everything that you're looking for. It is, it's the perfect travel lens, the perfect all-in-one. And that starting at f2.8 is great. Um, yeah, I just can't say enough good about it. I'm sitting in the middle of a storm, so that's what all the noise is out here. Uh, but I do all my videos outside because I just love being outdoors. I've been cooped up too long. Um, so, if you have any questions about it, please leave those questions for me down in the comments. Uh, if you want to know anything about it, I mean, I'd be more than happy to share if I've had the experience. I've only had it 24 hours. Um, so, hopefully I can do something to, to help you out if you have a decision to make. Um, if you like the content of the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down there. Uh, if you don't subscribe to my videos, please subscribe as well. Uh, the next videos I'll be recording will probably be out west in Wyoming. So um, you'll get to see what this lens does on, on, in Wyoming and on a ranch. Uh, it's going to be phenomenal. So until then, stay safe, stay healthy, take care, and I will see you soon.